okay collective so i closed out my other reading because i felt like i shouldn't have been talking about that and i took a little break and this is what i'm getting i'm getting outbreak in the courtroom this look like somebody trying to keep the peace you see him like some somebody angry this is anger Could be something with two men who wear like um suspenders. I oh don't them look like overalls. Right there. Somebody angry. Could be a Taurus, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's taking the key. Look at them two keys down there. But whoever this person is in the red, they're asking for those keys back. I'm hearing that song, I got the key to the city. Somebody want them keys back. This could be as simple as, you know, you got into it with somebody that was living with you and you like, no, I want my house key back, get the fuck out. I don't know how this is gonna resonate, but someone is angry because these keys are being taken. I got the key to the city. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so, uh, and I'm getting like outraged. Somebody could be mad. This could even be. You know how people have them little city hall meetings? It could be that. What's at his feet? I don't know what these mean. They're some type of badges. I don't know. It could be badge of honor or... I don't know about stuff like that, but it looked like a little symbol in this one, two, three, four. It's, there's four of them. But somebody want their keys back. So like I said, take this how it resonates. Maybe you got into an argument with somebody with this Knight of Swords, because the Knight of Swords is, is fast communication, harsh communication. Who's ever receiving it is not good, okay? So let's look and see what's going on. But from the beginning, I was getting outbreak in the courtroom, so... Because it's like this person is telling people, order, look, order in the courtroom, order in the courtroom, calm down, sit your ass down, whatever they say. <coughs> Spirit, what's going on? Listen, cut the deck on courthouse. Look, ooh, child. Child, child, child. I don't know what's going on. Somebody could be getting some type of unexpected income. Whoever this is could be walking out with these papers. Whatever the papers mean. Like, I don't know. This could be a deed to a home. Uh, Because I do see this house. There's a couple properties back there. This is like the rich man giving to the poor. You see how his clothes are torn and tattered. But the rich man's giving with the ring on. So whoever this is is married because he got the ring on. But it doesn't show the face. So... You know, we do know that this is a male giving something, right? 27, break, 27 breaks down to a nine, which talks about releasing surrender. And they're giving it to somebody who is, this could be like the has and have nots. They're giving this to this person here. Okay, so maybe you was in court and you won something with the courthouse. But on this courthouse is a 23. 23 breaks down to a five. Five talks about chaos, conflict. There's changes, basically. So I feel like whatever these changes are, somebody don't like it. Somebody don't like this change. They're like, oh, hell no. I'm, when I tell you somebody is fucking pissed, and I see these two keys, whatever these keys belong to, take it how it resonates. You could, you really could just be telling somebody, no, give my key back. Maybe you could, um, cause with the courthouse here in the Hierophant, cause the Hierophant could be looked at as like a marriage, right? 
and so if you are splitting up from somebody you could have been that that could be you walking out with your freedom papers and asking for your keys back uh oh now i'm hearing that song i'm the face of the city bitch that's why you mad uh -huh. Uh -huh. so y'all take it how it resonate okay but baby occupation all right so this is a job 34 breaking down to a seven so there could have been confusion right because you think of the seven of cups there could have been confusion and illusions but now i feel like someone's seeing something from a higher perspective okay even high honor even i'm getting high honor all right poverty dang it 37 breaking down to there's some rats there's a okay oh hell no this could be maybe your landlord ain't no good you know what i'm saying because there's a rat on top of this roof this person is moving there's a black cat there's a rat and i see all these buildings so maybe you got to move Maybe your landlord ain't doing what they supposed to do. Maybe you took your landlord to court. And maybe your landlord just lost their job and now they upset. And so if they were charging you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it, this this can be several different things. Okay? You have to take how it resonates. So if your landlord was charging you, say for instance, your rent was $900 a month. And, but they don't come and fix nothing. Look at this card. Maybe they don't come fix shit. You could have had a baby in there. Maybe the baby could have got bit by some. I don't know. That's going to be for somebody. And so now you're you're moving. Um, you're getting unexpected income. And this lawyer is being found out to be like a slum lord. Now I'm also getting, because there's a, a light on, on this occupation card. This woman is sitting at home or wherever she's sitting. And she's sewing a dress. There's a light on back there. What's at the bottom of it? Thief. Thief. Great fortune. You really could have had your damn. Say your rent one pole to be for five, but 500 And your landlord just charging you $700. Somebody stole something. But somebody's about to get it. Unexpected income. Courthouse. Somebody's getting the win right here. Thief, grateful expectation. Ooh. Community. What's that? House change. You know what I just got? We, whoever this is, baby. There's somebody waiting on you to get this money. They're waiting to steal it. I feel like they already had a plan, right? Whoever you just took to court, because with these expectations, they had the expectation that they was going to get great fortune. 818 on the phone. But in the event that they didn't, they were going to steal it. This community. This could be your family. Or just a community of people. Okay? So this could be the people and a person who is outraged that you won. And but what I was, what I got when this came out is you're going to have to leave, baby. House and chain. You're going to have to get the hell on. I'm also getting somebody's winning a harassment. Yep, high honor. Look at that. Someone's winning a harassment thing. Maybe your boss or your job. Or somebody they I feel like they losing that key. It's two people's lose. They two people getting a you know what I just got too. Y'all see, oh hell no. But that's what I got. Two states. What? There's, there's something going on. Two important people have to get a key back. So, if this was an apartment manager and they have the key to the bit, that, that it means they don't have that key no more. They don't have that job. If this was a spouse, or a boyfriend, a girlfriend, and you asking for your key back, whatever, because house change. 
there's been a change in this house. But here lately when I pick this house card up, I'm not talking about a home. It's office buildings. <clears throat> because there's lights on in these office buildings. I don't like the whole thief, the great fortune, the, the community. I, I don't like none of it. And so what I'm getting is, if you know you just got to win in court, I would advise you to pack your shit and get the fuck out. Nine, surrender, move. Because whoever this was that was expecting to get the money, I feel like they're not. And so they already got a plan B. If they don't win, their, expect, their expectations is they're going to take it, thief. Some of them could plan to do this with a child because his child's like stealing out this man's pocket. However, okay, that's a ooh, child, official person gift lovers somebody's making a choice I'm also getting with this hierophant somebody could be getting married I'm getting like a ceremony like a y'all know I be lost for words how do you say not in doctrine no like solidifying something this person right here so if this wasn't marriage this would be the person who's going to marry two people but i'm getting this with like a job also the courthouse means because maybe nobody's like actually in court but it just means a, a final decision has been made when it comes to some type of occupation or something. Yeah, there's an offer. Look at that. And then there's children. But look, an offer. Somebody getting something. It says offer proposal commitment. So you could be. But mm, I don't know. I like I feel like someone is pissed about the decision that is made and I was really getting an outbreak in the motherfucking courtroom so yeah because somebody lost right it's this ghosted block cut off someone lost here I told you somebody asking for the keys back what's back there today now in the present this could be happening now you know take how it resonate but it could be What's behind that? Divine feminine children. It says projected, but I got protected. Okay. Desirable history. Young. Someone young is getting in a position where, because if you look at these two men with these overalls on, they are going bald. So that would mean that they're they're older. Or they've been there for a long time. Or I'm also getting the good old boy system take how it resonates okay because i see the overall that's just what i'm getting somebody want their damn keys child i'm also getting this person could be giving an order look with them two fingers it can be ordering two people to do something because they're angry about a job or what someone does at work. This woman sitting here sewing a dress, okay? But somebody lost something. I just, that's just what I get. So one person loses something and then another person gets unexpected income. Um, Let's... Y'all, let's try to clarify this stuff. 
This is crazy. Yeah, I cut the deck on the higher for the game, but with the King of Wands this time. So you could be a King of Wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, but really the King of Wands is like Leo, uh, Cancer energy. Uh huh. So let's see. Yeah, somebody's gonna be the Nine of Pentacles, y'all. It's out here twice. Shit, maybe somebody with this star and the Three of Cups, baby. And the page of one. Somebody's getting good news, period. The star, the three of cups is celebratory energy with the page of wands. It's going to turn somebody into the fucking nine of pentacles. You could have been suffering with the poverty. You really could have been suffering here. And for that person where, you know, their baby got bit or something by some type of insects, or something, I see you winning. I see you having a victory in court right here. And not only does that person have to pay you, but they lose some type of position because you had to move. I'm also getting like, um, with that bad health card, it's like the stress, the pain and suffering, the discomfort, everything that you had to endure. Because this 37 breaks down to a 10. 10 talks about endings. So the things that you had to endure, you got 9 to the 10. Because remember, we had this 5. Could have been 16, 16 on the phone. Could have been a lot of chaos and conflict. A lot of changes happening here. Something's happening now. Today. The present moment. Yeah. Somebody's about to be... You know what? Oh, Y'all, what? Okay, listen. Okay. I know it is not election time, but I just got with the damn four of pentacles. Maybe someone's about to become uh, like a, a mayor or the governor or something like that. Because he's sitting, this man is sitting on top of the whole city. So if you were running between two people, right? Which I don't feel like it's election time, but they somebody could be electing you for anything. You see what I'm saying? This could literally be anything. Somebody had a choice. I feel. And one person lost and one person is winning. Yeah, because maybe someone had to show strength. Strength, perseverance. Maybe you had to go through a lot. But see, the devil is the only card. It it talks about overcoming obstacles overcoming hardship talks about growth with this strength card or you guys could just be doing with a leo because we did see the king of wands but i feel like everything that you may have had to endure you're getting some type of compensation or something and you're winning something like you, you you're about to literally turn into the nine of pentacles by whatever decision is made today. Unexpected income, baby. From something. You hear me? See, I keep picking up something with this house. And every time, if you see that big dome back there, it, does, it looks like a city, a community. But these lights that's on... In this house reminds me of that reading that I did the other day where I said somebody's cleaning a house, right? Getting rid of stuff that doesn't belong and giving the right, putting the right for people in those positions. Because I'm telling you, somebody's asking for their keys back. So if this is just a simple relationship, someone's breaking up with somebody or making the decision that they're done or maybe something's over and they're making an offer to someone else. And people's is angry, baby, when I tell you. Ooh, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So the Ace of Swords in the reverse, somebody could have lied. Someone could have been malicious about what someone does for work. Because remember at the beginning I said with the whole seven, someone could have been um, confused. Somebody could have placed illusions around someone's job. But I said then it goes from confusion to high honor. So, yeah, there was some lies told here. Damn. Knight of Wands. Someone could be dealing with an a air sign or a fire sign. Somebody was telling a lie on a person. Why? 
possibly to get the offer, you see. Something like that. Or they could have just wanted to see somebody suffer with this poverty card. And you got justice in the upright, baby. Justice is coming through. The scales are being balanced because this person is holding the sword of truth. Look at this. This sword of truth is in the reverse. Okay, in the upright, that means clarity. In the reverse, somebody was lying. Somebody was being malicious here. But whoever this is, some of you guys could be a Libra, dealing with a Libra. But do you see how the um, scales are being balanced? But in this case, with courthouse and justice here and the hierophant, this was a court case for somebody. Just a foot period. And sometimes some type of legal decision was made. Maybe there was a breaking of a contract or a signing of a contract. Take it how it resonates. But when the justice comes out in the upright, it does mean that previously some type of unjustified behavior happened. Okay? And so now that it's coming out in the upright, that means that the scales are being balanced. And this person is holding that sword of truth in the upright. This is the Ace of Swords. It talks about clarity. So where there was any... There wasn't any clarity about this position or about what someone does for work or this occupation. There's now clarity here, okay? All right, temperance. Yep, things are coming into balance. Temperance is all about, first of all, it, some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius or some of you guys could be an earth angel. But this is also Archangel Michael, so this, this could be the angel of protection. But I feel like things are being balanced out. Temperance is all about peace and harmony, okay? And that's what I feel. Yep. And uh, the Page of Cups is like some type of apology. Now, I've been seeing this little bitty camera. It's so little. It look like a pinhole on this person's hat. On this person. On this person. His uniform is blue and yellow. Just like I just saw in the chariot in my last reading. Some of y'all could be dealing with an officer. This could be an officer, okay? With the blue and yellow right there. But for others of you, this paper, and then look at that little bit of camera. So you see a little white dot? It's so little. You would never know it was right there. Somebody withheld, because that fish, that's come, that fish is yours now. Fish can mean prosperity, and that's what I'm getting with this unexpected income. Something was being held back, right? Even the, the Four of Pentacles is a holding back. Something was being held back and now, for a while till somebody could figure something out, or I don't know. With this, you know, the Seven of Pentacles is hard at work or something. But there's not really a return on this investment right here, okay? So... I feel like someone was, somebody was looking into something. That's what it looked like. And it was a lot of shit to look through. So these could be, um, how you say, people. Because we got occupation, y'all. This could literally be a job. These could be applicants. So they're looking through all the applicants. They got to run background checks on all the applicants. Um, they got to call out the references, call out the job history. They got to do a lot. And so... While something was being done, something was being withheld. That little fish right there. But now the thing that justice is being had with the justice and the temperance, someone is coming towards somebody with some type of apology and they're going to give them that fish. And I feel like that fish is this, uh, for some of y'all, that fish is like a job. But for others of you, it's going to turn, it's, it's, gonna, it's unexpected income. They're going to turn you into the nine of pentacles. Okay. Excuse me. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's stressing. Nine of Swords and Hermit. Air sign or Virgo. Eight of Cups. Let me pull some of my green cards. Look at that spirituality at the bottom of the deck. But let's shuffle. Damn it. Y'all, did y'all know this is the dream job? This car, I love this car. It says earn money doing something that you love or a dream job may be offered to you. We do have occupation. And
You see this dollar right here. So somebody could be dealing with the government. And the hierarchy can stand for the government. Maybe there was something unclear about money. Look, offering. Y'all, it's some shit going on. Look at all of it. It's being looked into. Some money was being looked into. Or something was being looked into. I shit you not. And you got life purpose at the bottom of the deck. So it says you will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you toward your divine calling. And what is meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. It also says ask for what you need. Okay, and things will align for you to carry out the vision. What's up with all these symbols and this look like a a plan? Or now, first of all, let me tell y'all what I normally get when this card comes out. There's a lot of symbols being drawn on one side of the wall. This woman is on the other, man or woman is on the other side of the wall and they have no idea what somebody's drawing, but they're able to tell them. That's normally what I get because she's holding up this light bulb. And if you look right there, there was a light bulb being drawn. So out of all of the symbols, it's, but today, okay. Maybe some of you guys could be like getting a science job or there's a lot of clues. I just see a lot of shit on this board, okay? Take how it resonates. Maybe there's some of y'all life purpose. But spirits say you'll have new ideas that will guide you, okay? <laughs> what else, spirit? This is crazy. Destiny. So, damn, you get destiny with life purpose and helper. And you have teacher back there. So, believe in your dreams and passions. It's your calling to follow them. Whatever led you to this point, it was to direct you to a higher purpose. And then you got life purpose. And that's crazy. I went to the doctor yesterday and I was talking to my counselor. And after my session, I asked her if I could. She, had, she has like this little box on her door and she cuts up... Um, little affirmations and i asked if i could grab one and she said sure that's what that's why i got them out there so i grabbed it and it said you are moving on and focusing on your higher purpose and i was like wow that, that really fits so that just made me think of that when i saw the life purpose and higher purpose right here so whatever this was that is happening or happened i feel like it had to Right? It said whatever led you to this point in your life, it was to direct you to a higher purpose. And so even if you went through, right? Because we saw that bad health, but we saw the strength. When we go through trials and tribulations, I tell you guys all the time that there is no uh, testimony without a test. And everything that we go through is just bringing us closer to our higher selves and what we were called to do. Okay? And it builds, it, it going through shit baby it does it builds you up especially if you make it to the other side so and somebody did i see i feel like somebody made it i went mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah i remember that movie coach carter that little song i think it was at the beginning i think they played that song at the beginning and the end of that movie we're untouchable I don't know the rest of that song, but that's just what I'm getting, okay? So, what what was the movie Coach Carter about? Okay, so there's this black coach came in and took this school from nothing. I think they had never won a game to win in, like, seasons. Something like that. Y'all yeah, been trying to get my granddaughter to take a nap for forever. Okay, so let's see what else is, yeah, work smart, um, perfection, easy does it, and justice again. <sighs> Control. So the card says, don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form that you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguise. This could be a blessing in disguise here. 
now it's giving me that reading i did i don't even think i put it out yet but i said this um hate induced tower forces someone's hand so somebody was trying to get a person who was in spirituality fired or trying to make it to where they couldn't do spirituality in their city or in their state or whatever and they were trying to take that person's job and the moment that they did that, it forced a king of pentacles to make an offer to the person that lost that job. So, what's this? Manifesting. All right. So, you manifested this. Especially if you've been asking. Because that card said, uh, ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out the vision. So if you've been if you've been asking God for your life purpose or just trying to find meaning in your life, y'all know we can't tell the most high God how to bring it to us. You pray for it and you just have to be open and receptive. And you you, you don't know how it's gonna come through. Okay? So whatever this is, you manifest it's something good though. It may not feel good while you was getting there, but this is something good. Let's read the card. It says, you have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming to you and an opportunity may come for you to showcase your talent. Now, just what I got with that was, remember I said there's a light on what this woman is making, what they're doing. Okay? So they see what this person is sewing. Now, with this 34, there was confusion. Remember, somebody was lying about what this person does for work. So they go to they go from being confused to seeing this person from a different perspective. And I feel like a higher perspective. So, writer, stories matter. Your words have the power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. Yet, yeah, recognition. This this person got you some type of recognition by lying on you. That's what I feel. And that's why this uh page of cups is coming through. Now that's crazy. I'm not gonna say that, Kai. Uh baby. It's certain things I don't be wanting to talk about, you feel me? Yeah, certain things I don't be wanting to talk about. But anyway, you got recognition here. That again, going from confused about someone's job or what they're doing to recognition, right? It says whatever you're working on now with occupation will win you the respect of others. You could earn a leadership position or get the recognition that you deserve. So for some of you, this higher thing could be taking the keys from this person and offering them to someone else. But I was getting like a ceremony. It's almost like a, you know, a oath. You, have, you, you, you take an oath, right? You promise you're going to do this and nothing more, nothing less. I promise this type of shit but now i'm also getting just now i just got these two people could have had to testify or something like that i don't know take it how it resonates y'all okay all right so spirit what's going on tell me what's going on what's going on? science i just said well i was thinking y'all could be working in some type of science field with all these damn formulas and shit back there on that wall all them drawings and stuff it looked like formulas it looked like clues or something but anyway spirit says there is something unfolding for you work with an open mind okay and it also says consider careers in science or any job that unravels the mysteries of the universe what was that phrase that i got last night when i was watching tv a paris was it a parapsychot y'all something with damn the ghost world <laughs> i think it was a parapsychologist para something y'all hip hip mat hip mat yeah because look look at that spirituality and y'all know when i get this card this woman can see the whole city she's not in the city but she can see what in the fuck is going on you feel me and so with this spirit look with this spirituality yeah Oh, y'all, it's so much coming through because what we got right here is maybe some of you guys have been settling 
right? Remember I said somebody, there's a light on. Here you are selling this damn dress. But that could be you doing this. But this person could feel that you're settling. I'm also getting, like, there, there, there could be an opening in a, a training program or something. But anyway, many opportunities are becoming available to you. Do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself. Because we got the card right here. Somebody's getting some type of offer, okay? You need to seize the moment. Now, what I'm getting with this angelic help. It even, it even says right here on the angelic help. There's a career or a blessing line enough for you. Stay positive and believe. But it's probably been a week or two now. I had a dream about an angel. Um... It was outlined in white, but I didn't know if it was in like a photo or if it was in film. And that's what I've been getting here. Like some of y'all angels have been showing up. Like you, when you call on them, they really show up for real, for real. Okay. It says, pay attention to the signs that your angels are sending you during this time. And remember when I was saying earlier, they didn't want, somebody was trying to go to court because they didn't want somebody to do spirituality in their city or their state. And then the spirituality card comes out. So it says you are being guided. That's not what I just saw. I, I saw you're being discovered. But it says you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. Okay. You may be called to become a spiritual advisor or a healer. I'm really just picking up. Okay. Whatever this is. Somebody lied on you hard. And it calls for some type of recognition. I also just got, you could have, oh, look, I didn't even see the rest of these. Okay, so it could be something about your instincts or your intuition. But Spirit is saying you're being asked to follow them at this time when making business decisions. You also have persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. But it does say hard work is required to keep building on your finances. Right. Follow through with what you set out to do consistently until you reach your goal. And if you did lose a job because of whatever's going on, a new job of some kind is coming your way. Damn. If it is driving, need to slow that head down, baby. Damn. A new job of some kind is coming your way or you will be going back to work. Your dependable and loyal nature will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. Okay, with this persistence, we saw that strength. Keep doing what you're doing because I'm getting just, thank you, Spirit. Justice will celebrate. There is some type of tower happening, right? It says a job loss could make it difficult because you really could have people going in the court trying to make it to where uh, it's illegal to do this. Or make it to where you can't do it where you live. Or maybe they have your, um, especially because she look like she's working out of her home. He or she. But they was lying. This this person was lying. It's swords in the reverse. I'm hearing that song. Through the fire. Mm -hmm. Who's singing that song? Shaka Khan. So you may have been through, you may have been through a lot of shit. Y'all, it's so much noise. I swear it don't happen till I come out here. Anyway, you've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more. All right. Um, there may be an unforeseen increase in your income. That's that unexpected income right there. Shit. I see somebody. They're going to be 30 hot. Whoever the fuck this is. Arguments. Look at that. Arguments. Y'all, there's so many distractions. But Spirit says, say yes to the things you think you can't do because you can. All right? And with this money manager, this card can indicate that your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. You can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. I don't know. Maybe you was in court because we saw that uh, money was unclear. Maybe you was in court fighting for something or maybe these two people were trying to make you, maybe they was the ones telling the lies on you. These two could have been the ones telling the lies on you. 
them two people would be the two that's sitting in front of this hive and getting them keys to it. I don't know. No, not yet. <coughs> okay, so that's gonna be symbolic. My my daughter got my my um my daughter brought my granddaughter a surprise, but we told her she couldn't have it until she took her nap. Maybe somebody's trying to get something without. having to do the without following the rules or I don't know y'all because everything that happens in the reading is symbolic you hear her please GG no baby you gotta take a nap no you gotta take a nap Stink. you got to take a nap then you when you take your nap then you can have it somebody could be doing a sad face please GG you can't have your surprise after you take a nap no, it won't. Okay, take a little one. But you got to take one. Take a little nap. Can I take a little bitty nap? <coughs> Whatever this is, child, it's like this. But look, like I said, one person is in the lost energy. Hell, this could even, this could be you, right? Somebody could be rushing to you to tell you that you can't do this anymore. And um, you're fired. If that's the case, you can go from this right straight to this. But for others of you, this is somebody who, uh, they was on some different shit. D2 and the overall, down there with them keys. They was on some different shit, bro. I'm telling you now. Okay, so that's what I had. Whatever you have been persisting through or going through, it hasn't gone unnoticed. Spirit see everything. We already got this angelic, angelic help. Spirit says there's a career or a blessing lining up for you. Stay positive and believe. So if, if you did have a job, like you might be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Don't even worry about it. And, and here's another thing. In order for something new to come through, the old got to be removed anyway. Hello? The old got to be removed any damn way. But some of you, there's an apology coming because motherfucker was lying on you. Possibly trying to keep something withheld from you with that four pinnacle. Mm -mm. You'll be celebrating. Okay, so I see this past card. So it says something from the past is coming back. Perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. It also says you could be re you could be earning or receiving money from something that you did in the past. Now here lately when I get that card, I'm getting like because you helped somebody to do something. They could want to repay you. Right? The unexpected income. Because you helped somebody to do something, they could want to repay you. It also says look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, an experience, or an old skill. Now, this is crazy, but let's just talk about it. I didn't know what it meant when it happened. And then I was watching Unsolved Mysteries last night, and it told me. I wake you up. She said, what time do I have to wake up? <laughs> Baby, she is not trying. You hear me? So anyway, I had this vision. This African-American man, he was in military uniform, right? But he was in a hot air balloon. And he turned his head around. He was looking at me, smiling, as he was floating in this high air balloon. I didn't know what that meant. And this was probably like several days ago. Where last night, I was watching Unsolved Mysteries. And there was a little episode talking about the spiritual world on there. And this woman was talking about how uh, she followed this high air balloon to this um, grave site. Because she was doing, she was digging up her roots, trying to figure out where she came from. And her ancestor, she, she, she said she felt as if her ancestor guided her to that cemetery to be found. Because the ancestor, ancestor wanted to be found. And so Robert Stack, the person who does the, the show, the narrating, he said, um, so next time you feel like you're being guided by a hot air balloon, maybe it is your ancestor. And it made me think back to when I had the vision of this black man. He's in military uniform, 
but he's sitting in this high air balloon looking at me just smiling so i'm like what it's the same night i had that vision the same night i watched the movie about um the tuskegee airmen how they had to fight just to fight in the war and there was two commanding officers one of them believed in them um and one of them felt as if they were inferior it's crazy if you ain't never seen it you should go watch it but um it gave me some clarity on what that meant you know maybe i had an ancestor that was in the military i don't know but that whole segment was all about finding out who you are and what i that's what i was picking up with this past some of y'all might find out some amazing things about your your history what they call it a genealogy report I'm really been thinking about getting one of those. Wouldn't that be amazing? Especially with this um this whole spirituality thing. You really might oh now I'm getting some different shit. Okay, so with the past and spirituality. Spirituality has always been looked at as a bad thing. And in the past, way, way back. Yeah, I know what they used to do to people who were found to have gifts because they thought it was of the devil. They would kill them. Ooh, child. So, there's something going on. That's for sure, for sure. All right. So, let's close out with an angel message. I feel like this, this is a good thing. Like I said, it may not have felt good while you were going through because somebody was definitely lying on you. Confirmation. They were definitely. And they were lying hard. Okay. But the truth always comes through. Always. And so some type of recognition has happened here. Alright. So. Spirit. Some of y'all are getting proposed to. Right. Some of you guys could be a high priestess. But I see high priestess the emperor with the four of wands. Yeah, there's some type of stability getting ready to happen for you. Whether this be job, relationship, whatever. You're going to be celebrating. We saw that Three of Cups. Then this is you celebrating here. Oh, my goodness. And then whoever this is, this is the energy or the person or group of people that was lying on you. Somebody being left. Okay. Somebody's leaving an old world behind, and they're ready to experience a new world. I'm getting that scene off of uh, Jason's lyrics when he told his mama when he first met Lyric in the movie. He said, man, one minute, one minute she act like she don't want me, and the next minute she she's showing me things I've never seen before. So this could be a higher thing, and I've been picking up on that a lot. This could be a higher thing getting ready to partner with a high priestess. So that's what I just showed y'all with that four of wands. I feel like this emperor is very much a motherfucking hierophant. And I feel like whoever the fuck you is, okay, I'm okay, ooh. So we got the hermit. I'm sorry, the high priest is the hermit and the fool. Somebody is looking at you like a fucking guru. Okay, so I I, I don't know why I was searching this word up last night, but I was prodigy i hope i'm saying it right and i'm like well, what does it mean and it, it was someone who had extraordinary talent ever since they was a child they've had this extraordinary talent and that's what i just got right here with the high priestess and the hermit and the fool i feel like this hierophant yeah y'all are partnering you see how you're holding this amethyst crystal maybe you are showing this person this emperor things that they ain't never seen before He's holding the um, the chess piece. So this person, maybe they are just a very logical energy. And you're holding the amethyst. But I feel like, man, together y'all could really work some, some real shit. Okay? So, woo! Alright, let's close out with the angel message, y'all. Yep, the indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. All right. Yeah, he said, uh, Paul, you know what your job is? 
It's to find the genius amongst the geniuses. Someone who can help pull us all up. I just got that too. So, yeah, again, steady progress, right? Let's read it. We acknowledge you for the progress that you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution that you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. So whatever you've been doing, child, it has not gone unnoticed. Even if don't nobody see it but your ancestors in spirit. There's rewards in being obedient, child. And the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. Okay, what do we need to see for the collective spirit? Please and thank you. All right, so be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself. Mm, I'm picking up. Some of y'all know exactly what's going on. Okay, now, innocent. Yep, look at that shit, bro. With them lies, that ace of swords in the reverse about someone's job, someone could be getting found innocent. And some of y'all is getting proposed to with this wedding. It's just the truth of it. And spirits is focused on service. The bottom of the deck, because you have you're like highly connected with Mother Earth, just period. You have a strong bond with the fairies, and your life purpose is helping Mother Nature. So wow. Somebody could be in protection. Y'all, this is listen. Take it how it resonates. I feel like this is a good reading. All right? I feel like there's a closing of a cycle. There's a shift change. Something good is getting ready to happen here for somebody. I can't say the same for the, for these people in the overalls, whoever them is. Okay? And these men could be in their 50s, 60s. They go and ball. Well, you don't have to be that old to go ball. You know, people, hair can thin at, hell, 20. I don't know. But it's something. All right. Again, I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Till next time. Bye.